Hi, Jeanne. It's good uh, to see you again. Hi. Uh, we first met what, 20 years ago, yes. something like that, although mm -hmm. we both look incredibly young. <laughs> uh, it was that, that long ago. Uh, fantastic talk today. Uh, the breadth of your work is truly impressive. Uh, as, as you've highlighted, your motivation is to solve problems that uh, will help humans in the future and maybe enhance how humans can exist. you want to talk a little bit about that vision you have? Mm -hmm. Yeah, our, our um, long-term vision is uh, to to mimic human skin, uh, and uh, in terms of uh, building a electronic sheets uh, that uh, mimics the sensing functionality of human skin and uh, looks just like human skin and feels like human skin. Uh, but since we're building this artificial um, uh, sheet or electronic sheet, uh, then uh, it gives us the possibility to add additional functionalities that our human skin may not have. Uh, so that those could be um, uh, sensing the chemical environment mm. around us uh, or uh, sensing uh, the, um, uh, the heat from far away or... or Rather uh, than close up. Uh, right, then, right, instead of being uh, in contact or maybe even read uh, people's thoughts without... Uh, uh, That's a good one. <laughs> you know what it reminds me of? I don't know, of? just come did up you, with... Did watched the six million dollar man when you were a kid do you remember the show no. the six million dollar man and there was a six million dollar woman but it, uh, he had a bionic arm and a bionic in mm -hmm. bionic eye uh, and and the idea was that he could perceive beyond mm -hmm. what was humanly possible mm -hmm. uh, and then could do amazing things would jump higher mm -hmm. and he could hear at a distance etc I think do you think that world will exist I've always thought science fiction well when well thought out mm -hmm. does in fact reflect a reasonable future reality mm -hmm. and it sounds like you're describing that reality yeah, well, the, the way I, I think about it is that uh, those type of uh, scenario that we see in science fiction, uh, they, some form of it eventually become uh, realized in our everyday life. It may not be exactly the same form, uh, but eventually uh, they inspire us to, to think about developing technology that can, uh, can have the same function, but then we find better usage Rather of than <laughs> right. sort of uh, superhero type things. Right. But I, I agree with you that when we in Bell Labs, when we look at problems now, uh, we, we look for what is a future human need. And mm -hmm. one of the ways you can find that is actually in science fic fiction mm -hmm. literature, because a version of that does represent what humans want. Otherwise, mm -hmm. it wouldn't, be, uh, right. wouldn't resonate with mm -hmm. people. So let's talk a little bit about Bell Labs. Uh, you're back. Uh, welcome back. Thank you. What did you learn from Bell Labs that you've taken with you on your journey? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, do you feel that Bell Labs is still relevant today? Maybe mm -hmm. those are the two questions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there, there were so many things uh, that, uh, that I learned from Bell Labs uh, that really shaped uh, how, how I think about problem uh, and how I approach problem. Uh, the, uh, to, to make long story short, uh, I think it's about the um, collaboration between people uh, from different disciplines, uh, the diversity uh, of uh, people coming from different background and gender, uh, and uh, also the, um, uh, the, the general uh, environment of a nurturing environment uh, um, for uh, younger scientists to um, uh, to mentor them and to to help them to become successful uh, and and all of those were really things uh, that uh, greatly impact how how I um, uh, assemble my current research group and uh, how I uh, approach problems it's really uh, exciting to be back uh, and uh, also really exciting to see all the new things that are going on uh, in Bell Labs and the, the new directions uh, uh, that uh, will um, uh, on uh, the um, uh, human machine interface and uh, um, uh, uh, enhancing human uh, functionality. We've ended up in a similar place, haven't we? Yes. We're going after the idea of enhancing human functionality. I think you're group is focused on the sensor part, us mm -hmm. the networking of those sensors, so I see us coming back together. Yes. Which yeah. is perfect. So you came at the right time. <laughs> Welcome back again. Well, thanks for having me And well back. done uh, on all your successes. We're Thank very you. proud of you. Thank you. Thanks very much.